Hello friends, this video straight line path 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight line part 1 to part 11. The question says a line perpendicular to the line segment joining points 1, 0 and 2, comma 3 divides it in ratio 1 by n. Find the equation of the line. Let's draw the line first. So let's suppose this is 1 comma 0 and this is 2 comma 3. This is line PK. Now the question says the line perpendicular to the line segment. So this is a line perpendicular to this and this divides the line in ratio 1 is to n and this is perpendicular also and we have to find the equation of line L. So this is let's suppose line L. Now, we need at least one point and slope of line L to find the equation. This point we can find. Let's suppose this point is S. Since this point, this point, this is divided in the ratio 1 is to n, we can find the S. Also, since we can find the slope of line PQ, we can also find the slope of L because PQ is perpendicular to L. So, first find slope of PQ. L and the point S. So let's find the point S first. So S will be, since it is divided into 1 to ratio, 2 into 1, 2 into 1 plus 1 into n, that is n by 1 plus. This is x unit, comma, 3 into 1, that is 3 plus 0 into n, that is 0 by 1 plus. N. So this is the value of point S. Now slope of PQ is M of PQ is equal to y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus 0 by 2 minus 1. 3 minus 0 by 2 minus 1 that is 3. So slope of line ML is nothing but minus 1 by 3. Because ML into PQ should be equal to minus 1. If you multiply these two you will get minus 1. So we have point and we have slope. Now since we have point, we have slope, we can find the equation. The equation is y minus, we will take one point, that is this point, 3 by 1 plus n is equal to m, m is equal to minus 1 by 3 into x minus x naught. x naught is 2 plus n by 1 plus. So what we have used here, we have used this formula y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught. This formula we have used. So we, we have the value of y naught, this is y naught. We have the value of m, this is m and we have the value of x naught that is this. Now let's solve this. But till now what we have done is we have just drawn the diagram and then we, we knew that we should have slope m and we should have the point S. We got this point, we got the slope and now we are going to find the equation. So what we get here is, 3 will put like this here, so what we get is 3 into y into 1 plus n minus 3 by 1 plus n plus x into 1 plus n minus 2 plus n by 1 plus n equal to 0. Correct? Now since it is 0, we can remove this part also because this is 0. This becomes 3 into y plus n y minus 3 plus x plus xn minus 2 minus n is equal to 0 or let's take the x part first so we get x where is the x here we get x here x x plus xn this is x bar plus 3 into y plus 3yn this is y part 
so we have taken x part we have taken y part now the part remaining is this is minus 9 we have taken this part this is minus 2 we have taken this part and this is minus n is equal to 0 what we can say is x this becomes x into 1 plus n plus 3y will take common into 1 plus n is equal to 11 plus n. or we can take x plus 3y into 1 plus n is equal to 11 plus n or we'll write this equation here or we get x plus 3y is equal to 11 plus n by 1 plus n. this is the equation this is the equation we have very simple what we have done we have found the slope and we have found one point then we have used the equation y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught and we have is equal to 1 now we'll solve this equation it's very simple it looks lengthy but it's a very simple equation the owner of a milk store finds that he can sell 9 8 liters of milk each week at 14 rupees per liter and 1 to 2 zero liters of milk each week at 16 rupees per liter assuming the linear relationship between selling price and the demand how many liters can he sell weekly at 17 rupees per liter so let's let's assume this is a line so he's telling that when he's saying 14 liter 14 liters rupees 14 per liter he is selling 980 liters when he is charging 16 liters to 16 rupees per liter he is selling 1220 liters when he is charging 70 liters he is selling y y liters of milk you need to find the value of y because the linear relationship is maintained please note this linear relationship is, is a critical point here since this is linear i can draw a line when he was selling 14 rupees per liter he sold 90 liters of milk when he was selling at 16 rupees per liter he sold 1 2 2 0 liters of milk now the question is when he is selling for 17 rupees per liter how much or how many liters of milk he will sell now for this line let's find the slope slope is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so this is 1 2 2 0 by 980 by 16 minus 40 that is 240 by 2 that is 120 this is the slope now since this is one line the slope will hold true for all this so now also if you if you, if you take this point and you want to find the slope we can do like this we'll say y minus 1 2 2 0 by 17 minus 16 is equal to 1 2 0. so now we have taken these two points let's suppose these two points are pqr earlier we took q and r this is for q and r now we'll take pq so for pq the slope will be y minus 1 2 2 0 by 17 minus 16 and this will also be 120 so y would be it is y minus 1 2 2 0 is equal to 120 into 1 because 17 minus 16 is equal to 1 or y is equal to 1 2 2 0 plus 120 that is nothing but 1 3 4 0 liters and that is the answer pretty simple we have this line we have three points and almost all the points were given we have to find the y and we could find the y thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.